Hi everyone. So I just wanted to make a quick video to show you all of my favorite books for babies and toddlers. This is the That's Not My series and it's definitely the most popular one that Usborne has for kids. Um, this is my son's favorite book, the That's Not My Tractor. So you just go through and every page has a different texture. And it also has a mouse on every page that they have to find. In every book in the entire series. Always has a white mouse on it to find. Kaysen also really likes the mermaid one because the last page has a mirror for you to see yourself in. And he thinks that's pretty fun. Um, the next series is the Baby's Very First Touchy Feely Finger Trail playbooks. So there's a whole bunch of books in the series. There's um, animals, farms, nursery rhymes. Um, there's a big playbook that has a sound panel on it. These are some that I have is the playbook. So you just can go through and there's lots of things to touch and feel and it's really shiny and really colorful. This is the the garden one. So there's some lift the flaps in it. Um, this is the colors one. It's probably my favorite. Lots of colors. And lots of textury things too. Um, this is the lift the flap playbook. So there's lots of flaps and lots of things to touch. And then there's the regular playbook and this one is pretty awesome too. Um, the next series is the very first slide and see. And there's just three books in this series so far. The Under the Sea. So it's really interactive. Every page has something different for them to touch and move. This is the animals one. And this is the farm one, which is probably the most popular one of all. Um, the next series that I'm going to show you is the Peep Inside series. And it's my favorite series in all the Esborne book collections. I have all of them because they're my favorite. Um, this one is Peep Inside a Fairy Tale. Osborne just came out with this this year. This is a new thing that they're going to start. So in the next few months, they are set to release the next one. And I don't know what it's going to be yet. But it's really, really nicely put together. The illustrations are beautiful. I read it to my play school class last week. And they loved it. They especially loved when they could see Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood in the wolf's tummy. So I'll show you a few more of the books. If this one's the nighttime one, and it goes through and shows you what all the people and animals and stuff are doing while you're in bed. This one's Peep Inside the Farm. It's probably my favorite one. The last page is my favorite because it shows you all the different things that you could buy at a farm shop that all the things that are grown on the farm so it's very educational but really nicely put together for kids they think it's pretty fun this one's the peep inside the castle and there's a really fun page in here where you get to see what a knight looks like when he puts his armor on so there's three little flaps that go over so that's fun for kids to see. There's a dinosaur one, a garden one, a zoo one, and an animal home. So you can see where all the different animals live. Um, the next series I'll show you is called Very First Word. And in this series, there's a few that I don't have. There's a holiday one. A bedtime one, a nursery rhyme one, on the farm, one, two, three, at home, and a Christmas one. So there's my body. So it goes through, shows you all the different body parts. There's the ABCs. There's things that go. Oops. There's colors. And animals. Um, the next series that I'll show you is the very first book of things to spot. 
There's two books in this series. Sorry, I have a mess going on now. There's At Home and Out and About. So the kids would have to go through and you'll read it with them and tell them to find um, who's wearing a helmet with spots on it. So they'll go through and they'll find it. These books take forever to go through and read because there's so many fun things to find. My niece is four and she loves it. This is the other one. They're all the different things to spot in different rooms in the house. And then the last series I will show you quickly is the Lift the Flap series. And there's other ones that I don't have. Uh, there's Counting, a Word Book, and Numbers. This is the Colors one. So there's lots of flaps to lift, obviously. Um, there's a Shapes one. So then they could go through and lift all the flaps on the page to try to find all the different shapes. And the last one is opposites. So noisy and quiet, over and under. Just a whole page that teaches them opposites. So that's all I'll show you for babies and toddlers. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.